everyone, welcome to a new episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Um, I believe it's time to speak with the Quarians. Hopefully we get to meet Tali again. Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again. Though I wish it were under better circumstances. I'd hope for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. I told you to Which not do that. Of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. I don't even know what I'm saying. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to their home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we have... Wait! You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got, and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tali? Tali Zora Vast Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tally. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Took you ages, Tally. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Me too. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the Admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. Did you not record a line? I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. Did she not record a line, uh... How do I say? Because, like, I'm Femme Shep. The way she worded that, like... Uh, are you okay? Hey, Kaden. That was a rough mission. The Reapers are an ingenious and ruthless enemy. Poor Rila. Ingenious and ruthless. The worst kind. Okay. Everybody was fighting the Rachni, trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. It wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vandomar, and the Jatil turned against the Jar. 
So, I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditika preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. <sighs> oh, everyone, listen to me! Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. Samara is the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. Behave yourself. It's a brilliant tactic, when you think about it. But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but converting other life forms into Reapers? I, I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder, eliminates any local resistance, and for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two, the one you converted, and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher mob. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. Like, Garrus is just being pragmatic in that dialogue. Where the fuck is she? Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Sonax Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvuk. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax is part in instigating an illegal war on Garvuk. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Right away. Ooh. Do I want capacity or damage? I want damage. Delays something. I mean, I don't use power. Sorry. Oh god. <coughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Ooh. Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No. Not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures. Nobody deserves that. I get you. At your service. Thank you. So, will she be here then? Tali! Goodness gracious. It's nice to have Tali back. I've made sure we're well stocked with dextro based antibiotics and antihistamines. Great. I agree. Are you here? I do where she is. Is she in the war room? There you are. Oh, never mind. Shepard, the fleet is under heavy fire. We need to hit the dreadnought. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships, medical vessels, and live ships. Admiral Corris coordinates them, though individual ships captains still have power. In peacetime, 
They made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury-rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships had cannons. Use what you got. Indeed. With the modifications, our live ship cannons are comparable to the main guns on a dreadnought. Impressive. They lack the armor of a real dreadnought, but they can back the heavy fleet formidably when needed. What can you tell me about Admiral Garrel's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se, just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the homeworld. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. You're welcome. Where's Tali? Tali! That dreadnought is tearing through our fleet. Let me know when you're ready to hit it. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tali? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tali. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Again. Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed radar pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. I'm about to lose my shit. Seriously. So what about Legion? It returned to get space after you turned yourself into the Alliance. And you haven't seen it since? I... Uh, Legion and I sent a few messages. I was hoping we could try negotiation. But I was outvoted three to two. Admiral Chorus was the only one who believed it would work. Any idea where Legion is now? No. In our last message, it told me that the Geth were having trouble reaching consensus. And then nothing? Maybe it was fighting the Reaper takeover? Or maybe it didn't want to give intel to an enemy? I could have warned it about the invasion. I didn't. You'd have been betraying your own people. I never wanted to be an admiral. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. Okay. Goodness me. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking.
Waking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No. No, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father and... And Zen's ideas? The new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up? That's based on my father's work. If they die because of me? If... If I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. There's legit no I better should get back than before her. the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. There's legit no better person for that role than, than, than her. So I really don't know. What the heck is she going on? Dolly! She's here! Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, she's here. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're approaching the Corian home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the convoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Let's sing the Portuguese one then. That's the only one I know. Broadcasting the Reaper signal and shut it down. Tally's our expert on guest software. She'll be handling hacking and security. Good. So you're a real living Prothean? As opposed to a fake dead one? Uh, calm down. Uh, okay. Shepard, there's a problem. All tubes except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. Alright, guys, behave, okay? Oh shit, I'm alone? Whoever came up with this, I love you. No wonder the Quarians were having trouble. That ship is enormous. It is 30% larger than an Alliance dreadnought. Tally, you're gonna like the view. Much.
lack of gravity is a little disorienting. The dreadnought has artificial gravity. You should be okay once you're on board. Till then, I'll make do with mag boots. Hey, take your time, Commander. We're fine until they, you know, look out a window. Geth don't use windows, remember? Structural weakness. Like the Geth are just sitting there saying, those organics would never try the no windows thing twice. Like the rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. So I'm guessing you'd rather not solo the dreadnought. Not if I can help it. Ask Tally to get on the dreadnought schematics. If she can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. Shepard? I found another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. Javik. Any resistance? All quiet so far. They haven't detected us yet. Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. Center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. And the fighter lasers? They're using ultraviolet frequencies, not infrared. That's a lot more expensive and a lot more powerful. When the fleet rushed the dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. Come on, let's get to the op center before they lose more.
interested in these machines. Network intelligence. As we kill them, their attacks become more aggressive. Wait, who's dead? What will I do with you, Javik? Hitting all GATS processes. The Reapers have them completely under control. In my cycle, a race called the Ja used machines. The Ja team are synthetic symbiotes. The Reapers subjugated the Ja team as they had the GATS. Their mechanical swarms blotted out the sky. They were brutal, merciless. Kila, what did you do? We sent their star into supernova. That's not really an option here. Not yet. I destroyed a system to take out the Alpha Relay. Wasn't an easy decision. Combat data. What's the state of the battle? We're taking heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. Is there anything we can do to help them? Just make their sacrifice worthwhile. find the operations center. Wouldn't any access console do? No. Anything we do here, the Geth could counter. Too many fault checks and redundancy levels for what we need to do. Okay. Dreadnought's operation center is just ahead. Good. Let's cut the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. Where's Legion? The hunters are moving in! Console is operational. Well, I still want to see if I can get in those doors. Damn. How do I open it? Look at how much data the Dreadnought Central Processor is handling. I think it's handling information from all guests everywhere. We need to hurry! My people are getting spurred apart out there! Oh 
hold on. Damn it. They've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. There. The Reaper signal coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Right. But how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. Is it this door? Uh, the Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide immersion. Like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I take a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got the prime. But be ready. I'm reading hostile gas on the other side of the door. Okay. There could be cloak hunters as well. That's okay. central processor is handling. I think it's handling information from all Geth everywhere. This ship design is almost Quarian, but not quite. It's meant for synthetics, not organics. Synthetics do not care for organic ease of use or aesthetic beauty. In some cases, they actively oppose it. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I'm surprised they'd send you on this mission, Tally. Even admirals are expected to serve. I'm better at hacking than I am ordering ships around. Okay. I mean, you are Tali Vast Normandy, so. What the fuck? Jesus. some build up going on damn it priority message a planetary defense cannon just took down admiral chorus's ship survivors no they got to escape pods and i've got admiral ron trying to establish a secure link put her through Shepard, this is ron the heavy fleet is collapsing i don't know how much longer we can hold out We'll have the Reaper signal deactivated shortly, Admiral.
Stop firing. Legion. We're safe as long as the maintenance lock is in place. Let's move. Shepard. You guys are not doing it anymore. What 
is happening? Legion. Fuck, where is he? Or where is it? I don't know. Shepard, grab my hand. Thank you. Thank you, Dolly. Appreciate it. me. If Legion isn't here, where? Like, he has to be somewhere in the game. Somewhere. That's definitely Reaper tech. But what's... Is he you? Shepard Commander, help us. Legion. You know this gift? Mm -hmm. Yes. It helped me fight the Collectors. It's on our side. Unless it was reprogrammed, like the rest of the gift. Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once freed, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So, what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all GAP simultaneously. Then, getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Far side of the room, you said? Yes. The activation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and rewrote the heretics for what? Nothing? No. You successfully rewrote the heretics. The decision to ally with the old machines was difficult. Had the Creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. Sorry, Tali. Is there no loot? Whoa, Shepard. Christ.
I saw it, I saw it. Save them. Tali's to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. Come with me, Legion. Piece of my armor. Kila. As a gesture of cooperation, we have disabled the Dreadnought's Drive Core. All weapons and barriers are offline. Alert! Get reinforcements incoming! Stay safe, Legion. Like, I just want to get uh, done with this shit. Stop! 
not enjoying the mission at all. Fired on the dreadnought while you were on board? They were supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead... I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Tali Zora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. Your military, you understand that. I understand that you wasted your chance to withdraw safely. The Dreadnought was a perfect target. This is exactly the kind of short-sighted, bloodthirsty behavior I was worried about. If you could retake Earth with a little friendly fire, you'd do it in a heartbeat. You're lucky I need your ships, Admiral. I've got to get back to the heavy fleet. Ron, we'll talk later. Boshtet. Indeed, Boshtet. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Had. Admiral Corish sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. What the hell is this? My friend, wait, wait. Legion. Everybody calm down. Its name is Legion. It helped me destroy the Collectors. 
The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Consensus. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about the experience? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. Legion is my friend. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. The scientific benefits are off the table. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila. I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Garrow. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where is it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. <laughs> This thing. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. What do you need? Are you kidding me? I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. Swarmed by Geth fighters. Damn it. Interceptors, divert to the Kanesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, we'd have lost the ship. Commander? Okay. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. I haven't heard any news about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. Where is he? Where is Legion? I know we need allies, but it's tough to only fight Geth for the Reapers to take it out of the galaxy. Without the fleet, we lose our supply line. You lose your supply line, you lose the war every time. Commander, we've got reports of trouble at a Turian fuel depot in Sion. I've updated the galaxy map. Thank you. The cure. Malon. I've just heard the news you've cured the genophage and that some of the females from my experiments were involved. I can't tell you how good this makes me feel. There hasn't been an hour I've thought about what happened on Tachanka and wondered if I did the right thing. This caused... What the fuck? This news validates all the pain my experience experiments caused. It doesn't. I hope one day to meet the females again and ask for their forgiveness. After you convinced Dr. Solus to spare me, I took his advice and opened the clinic and Omega. Sorry, on Omega. I thought he would help me make amends for whatever suffering I caused. I had to leave when word got back to Clan Warlock and they put a bounty on my head for failing to deliver a cure. Maybe now they'll leave me alone. I guess it's the second time you saved my life, Commander. I would trade you for more than... Just so you fucking know, piece of shit.
Hey, James. Hey, Commander. Sounds like you guys had a crazy ride over there. You could say that. Sorry I missed it. And that Geth Legion. I know you two have a past, but... You sure we can trust it? Legion's not like other Geth. We can trust him. If you say so. I guess you can't always judge an individual by their... species. Look at Sparks. If all the Quarians were like her, we wouldn't be stuck refereeing their war with the Geth. Sparks? Yeah, your Quarian friend. The jumpy one with the glowing eyes. Sparks. Uh-huh. Crazy that they pick now to start a fight. But I guess the end of life as we know it can make everybody a little loco. Just a little? Not everybody's as crazy as you, ma'am. Can you please get the fuck off my ship? What a fucking piece of fucking... Ugh. That's what I think of him, seriously. I mean, is the only good male character Garrus? Is I have that effect on you ones. Now, Quarians as well, it seems. For what it's worth, Quarians understand what it's like to lose your home. As I understand, that was your own fault. What do you mean? In my cycle, Quarians didn't need helmets to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. And nothing about this cycle is what I expected. Even primitive quarians were considered attractive in my age. A pity no one can appreciate it now. Right. You know what? I think I have something important to do now. I won't keep you. Javik, we're gonna have a problem. Studying the other side? Why did you allow one on this ship? Legion helped us before. It's still a machine. Maybe. But he's not like the other Geth. You can't know that. They are more alien than you and I are to each other. Just because Legion isn't like us doesn't mean he can't be trusted. You're wrong. Throw it out the airlock. How can you be that certain? Organics do not know how we were created. Some say by chance, some say by miracle. It is a mystery. But synthetics... No, we created them. And they know we are flawed. Why do you say that? They are immortal. We are not. They see time as an illusion. We are trapped by its limitations. Above all, machines know the reason they were created. And we don't. They serve a purpose, while we search aimlessly for ours. In their eyes, organics have no reason to exist. Do not trust them, Commander. I can't believe there isn't some way for us to coexist. We made them. And then gave them the power to surpass you. There is room for only one order of consciousness in the galaxy. The perfection of the machines or the chaos of the organics. Throw the machine out of the airlock, Commander. I'm about to throw you. Like, you fucking disrespect everybody. Fuck yourself, man. Go fuck yourself. Man, I'm pissed. Holy fucking shit am I pissed. If you can, Edie, that would be appreciated. Searching for any mention of your recruits is not a complicated protocol, Major. Trying to find out what happened to your people? Yeah. Edie, make this scope galaxy-wide. And if I can find just one squad, they may lead me to the others. Good luck, Caden. Thanks, Shepard. I'll let you know what happens. I will establish the routine now. Edie, out. By the way, Shepard, it's been good having Tally around. She's a good egg. Wait, don't tell her I said that, in case it's some kind of Corian insult. 
Good boy, Kaden. Keep it up. See? This is how you treat people. Fucking piece of fucking Prothean crap. Liara. Joker, really? I have work to do. Cool, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the <sighs> extranet. What? I can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. Fine. Deny me the answer I've been seeking for years. With this war Don't you have a ship to fly, Joker? Fine, just asking a simple question. Thank you. Blackmail would have been awkward to explain to Edie. Slave is silent. Good girl, Yara. Hello again. Okay. A pleasure to see you. Thank you, Glyph. You too, buddy. God damn it, where is he? Hey. Hello, Commander. Hi. Have you seen. Where the fuck is he? Why? Okay, seriously, why can't I find anybody in this ship? Garrus, are you with Legion? Too bad you weren't here earlier, Tally. You just missed Rex. I heard. I can't believe the genophage is really cured. Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the Geth out. I don't know. The genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No, but there was a scary bit with the mother of all Thresher Maws. The what? Long story. Nobody will believe it anyway. With you, Garrus, I'd believe just about anything. No. Oh. <laughs> we should play poker sometime. Anyway, it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calibrating. Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me. Everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? I mean, I want to save as many people as I can, knowing that I'm, I'll prioritize my crew. Maybe not all, but I'll, I'll prioritize Liara, Garrus, and, and Tali. If I can, I'll save Caden too. In terms of, like, remembers, I don't give a fuck about Edie, I don't give a fuck about James and the other ones that have not joined my crew. I want, I want Mar Miranda alive and well, I want Jack alive and well. Samara alive and well. And 
the rest I really don't don't give two shits about so what do I want to answer like I don't know I'm kind of like torn like 50 50 I guess I have to do this. If all life in the galaxy vanishes because we hesitate, what choice do we have? <sighs> this is going to be a rough war. I know, buddy. I know. But where is Legion? I've added the Corian fleet's combat data to ours. They've got amazing technical coverage. They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. Okay. Commander Shepard. Hi. Where is he? There you are! My goodness, Legion. Shepard Commander, you opposed Creator Admiral Zen's attempt to confiscate our platform. She's done enough already. Your assistance continues to be noted. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Corian's live ships. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked with server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the Creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. Awesome. Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Rewriting the heretics increased the number of Geth allied with the old machines. This has resulted in a greater number of hostile Geth platforms. So you're saying it was a mistake? It has put us at a tactical disadvantage. This was not a foreseen outcome, but we cannot change a decision once it is made. Oh my god. Do you harbor regrets about rewriting the heretics? The Corians hit first. If we get rid of the Reaper's signal, maybe this war doesn't have to end with everyone destroyed. An interesting notion. Most organics would not hold on to ideals of peace for so long. I try. The Geth have fought the Corians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Corian flotilla attacked it. Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The Creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. It's actually not. What'd you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Veil. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. That must have been nice. <laughs> Whoever wrote the script, I love you. This was amazing. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Thank you, Legion. Good to see you. All right, guys. That's all the time I have for this episode. Um, if I'm completely honest, I didn't like the mission itself. I found the, the gravity section to be like 
really how do, how do I say like new like you know like engaging uh, and I really really liked it but then like the mission itself um, like action wise I found it just not not interesting at all like I, I found I found like if I'm comparing to Mass Effect 2 Tali's loyalty mission was a lot more fun and a lot more engaging than this one um, and like I don't know and even the like meeting Tali again on the second game was so much more hype you know uh, on, on the two occasions so I, I prefer t Tali on the second game than, than on this one um, yeah and uh, man Javik and, and James are pissing me the fuck off um, like who the men are so disgustingly written the only exception is Garrus well and Legion but then again Legion is not supposed to be a, a, a person just just an uh, I don't know I consider that that like a needy a needy type of, of, of character like Jesus fucking Christ um, but yeah Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I believe we have now met every crew member that has joined Shepard, at least in one occasion, um, you know, throughout this journey of Mass Effect. Um, having said that, I don't know how far I am uh, on this game. I want to do as much, you know, side content as possible that hasn't changed. Um, and I'm still in no rush to finish uh, the game. I'm just very concerned because in the first game there were, there was some hints in, in you know in, on on the script that kind of foreshadowed that you're not gonna be able to save everyone, Shepard. And what happened at the end was. Do you want to keep Ashley? Do you want to keep Caden? And in the second game, there was all these, all these uh, things about suicide mission, suicide mission, suicide mission. You're not gonna save everyone, and blah blah blah. And well, turns out you can. You just gotta well know what the fuck you're doing. It seems. And in this game. I'm very, very, very uneasy with, well, the possibility of like, what's going to happen, who will I be able to save, who, who will I not be able to save, so, I'm, I'm very concerned, um, but yeah, alright guys, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.